The descending aorta possesses blood with a low oxygen content being about 35% saturated with oxygen. This blood provides oxygen for the development of the tissues of the legs, of the digestive tract, and of the kidneys. In the hip region, two arteries branch from the internal iliac arteries and pass through the navel to form the umbilical arteries passing through the umbilical cord to reach the placenta. In the placenta, gas exchange occurs so that the blood which leaves the placenta traveling through the single umbilical vein is 70 to 80 percent saturated with oxygen. This umbilical vein passes through the navel and reaches the liver. The fetal liver is not active in processing the nutrients from diet because everything is pre-digested by the mother's digestive system. So the only blood required by the fetal liver is that needed for its own development, not to support digestive processes. There are three separate sources of blood reaching the liver. The abdominal aorta forms unpaired arteries such as the celiac trunk and the superior mesenteric artery, which brings low oxygen blood to the organs of the digestive tract. One of the branches of the celiac trunk, the hepatic artery, proceeds to the liver. The others service the stomach, small intestine, large intestine, spleen, and then their veins drain into the hepatic portal vein, which proceeds to the liver. So the fetal liver receives low oxygen blood from the hepatic artery very low oxygen blood through the hepatic portal vein, and oxygenated blood entering through the umbilical vein. The umbilical vein forms a number of branches which reach the cells of the liver, and a portal sinus which will then fuse with the hepatic portal vein. And so different cells in the liver receive different levels of oxygenated blood, and the hepatic veins, which will drain into the inferior vena cava, can thus vary as well, with the left and median hepatic veins being more oxygenated than the right hepatic veins.